Hello, what is up guys? Emon from Peso Smart PH here and welcome sa pinabagong episode. So, shout out din syempre sa mga podcast listeners. Today, yung topic natin is capital gains. So, let's jump right into it. Uh, first of all, syempre, i-define muna natin yung uh, capital gain. Ano nga ba yung capital gain? So, meron tayong dalawang sources dito. First one is Investopedia. So, yan. Uh, sabi dito yung value ng capital asset or any type of uh, security rises. So, uh, for example, bumili ka ng uh, stock. And then, uh, yung stock na yun is nag-increase uh, in prices. And then, binenta mo. Ayun. Ibig sabihin nun, yun yung capital gain mo. So, yung difference. And then, of course, yung selling price is always higher than the purchase price. Kasi kapag uh, mas, uh, palugi mo siya binenta, so it's a loss na. Hindi na siya capital gain. So, basically, a uh, capital loss na yung tawag doon. Pwede siyang short term, uh, which is one year or less or long term. So, ibig sabihin lang nun is uh, hinold mo yung uh, asset na yun or yung security na yun or yung stock na yun uh, for one year or more. So, dun tayo medyo nag-lean towards yung uh, goal natin and yung uh, investing habits natin uh, sa long term. Usually, associated siya sa stocks kasi uh, medyo volatile talaga yung prices uh, ng stock market. That's basically it for Investopedia. Next one is Wikipedia. So, sabi dito, the profit that results from a sale of a capital asset, such as stock, bond, or, or uh, real estate. So, so far naman sa channel na to, uh, yung nag-discuss pa lang natin and like uh, in-depth is yung stocks. So, maybe in the future of videos and episodes, uh, madiscuss din natin yung bonds and uh, real estate. Uh, where the sale price exceeds the purchase price. Siyempre, um, iba't ibang parang analogy lang yun nilalagay nila dito. But essentially, isa lang naman talaga yung meaning ng capital gain. Second one is the gain is the difference between a higher selling price and a lower purchase price. So yeah, uh, parang dyan na rin um, papasok yung uh, buy low and sell high. So yeah. Uh, yung kumbaga parang outcome nun nung mentality na yun nung principle na yun is capital gains so merong uh, classifications yung capital gains so yeah medyo simpleng concept lang naman talaga siya but uh, let's dive deeper para mas sino maintindihan natin and syempre dun sa mga uh, bago pa lang sa field na investing yeah mahalagang malaman nyo to so, first one is unrealized. So, paper gains lang siya. So, technically, ayun yung uh, meron ako ngayon. Doon sa mga up na uh, stocks ko. Like, uh, for example, uh, JFC. Medyo mura lang siya nabili previously. And then, well, nung una talaga, medyo mataas ko siya nabili. Yung prices nung uh, JFC stock ko. And then, I think, uh, a few weeks ago, nakabili ako ng medyo mura lang. So, medyo na even out na yung average price. So, sa ngayon, I think nasa 150 na siya. Uh, yung price siya per share. So, that is uh, really good for me. Pero hindi ko naman siya ibebenta. Kasi, as uh, we all know naman, uh, mabunta siya around 300 plus previously. So, uh, I don't have to collect my profits uh, this soon. I'm just gonna be patient and stay disciplined. And then of course, uh, yung unrealized gain or unrealized profit slash loss, uh, hindi pa siya taxable. Kasi hindi mo pa man siya, ano eh, binibente. So, nangyayari lang yun kapag narealize mo na yung gain na yun or syempre yung loss. So, yung gains are realized when an asset is sold. So, yeah. Doon lang yun mangyayari. And, syempre, iba naman yung uh, dividend payments. Eh. Kasi yung dividend payments, hindi naman talaga siya capital gain. Since it's uh, yung business, like, distributing yung income nila uh, sa mga shareholders and stockholders. And, I'm sorry for this typo, uh, this triggers a taxable event na. Yun, kapag binenta mo yung, for example, nagbenta ka ng bahay, yun. Yung kinita mo dun, uh, matataksan yun. 
like I've said earlier, merong short term uh, na asset. So yeah, na hold lang siya for less than a year. Uh, I've never did this pa kasi ngayon long term yung goal ko. So dito tayo papasok. The investment was held for more than one year. And nag-start ako mag-invest sa stocks uh, nung December 2018. So yung mga nauna kong biniling stocks like Emperador, Mega World, yan. Uh, long term investment na siya kasi uh, na-hold ko na siya for more than a year. I'm planning to keep holding on them for a very long time, I believe. Tapos so, magbigay lang tayo ng konting examples. Uh, dito sa mga capital gains natin. So, first one, uh, example natin is unrealized gain. Ayan. Ito yung basically screenshot ng uh, limang stocks ko sa portfolio ko sa BPA trade. So, as I've said earlier, yung JFC ko. Medyo kumita na tayo dyan. Pero, yeah, paper gains pa lang yan. Uh, currently, average cost nung nabili ko out of the 260 shares na meron ako. Nasa 124.8. 8.6 na siya, di ba? And then, yung last traded price niya is at 150 nga. Accurate naman yung sinabi ko kanina. So, meron na tayong uh, 19% gain for this particular stock. So, that uh, gives us 6.1k. And yeah, multiply mo lang yan to uh, what do you call this? 2.9. So, 90%. Kasi 10% yung ano eh. Uh, joke, ni pala. Uh, dividends pala yun. Uh, I believe yung rate nung stocks is, I mean, capital gains is nasa 0.6%, I believe. And ano eh, uh, I think na kakalculate siya sa price per share nung ibebenta mo. So, for example, binenta ko to, yung isang share. 150 times 0.6%, yun. Yun yung maiging, ah, uh, making tax nitong uh, capital gain ko. And then, yung sinasabi ko kasi kanina na 8 times yung uh, profit nyo. 2.9. Uh, ano lang yun eh. nag apply lang yun sa mga dividends. So, kunyari, nabigyan ka ng dividend payment ng 100. 100 pesos. So, yung matatanggap mo lang talaga ng net is uh, 90. Kasi itatax yun at 10%. So, kuya, kakaldasan Uh, ng 10 pesos, yung 100 pesos mong nakuhang dividend. Yep, so yeah. Just wanted to clear that out para walang confusion. Then yeah, same lang din. Uh, PSB, 34 ko siya nabili. Uh, I think ito na yung uh, 52-week low niya. As far as I know. So yung last traded price is 48.25. 38% na yung gain natin dyan. So yan, medyo malaki siya. 2.6k yung unrealized profit SPC Power Corporation yeah 6.6 average cost no nabili ko uh 8.08 na siya na trade currently 20% profit and 1.6k uh yung monetary value nung unrealized gain and then yun yung maxes and EMP yung EMP medyo ano siya eh, parang pataas pa ba pataas pa ba so ni siya stable so to speak kasi, yeah, uh, medyo volatile pa talaga yung market today. Kuha na rin ng pandemic. And, ayun, uh, as we slowly parang ease through yung, uh, parang mabalik yung, ano, yung daily lives natin before, before the pandemic. Pero, uh, you know, hindi naman talaga yun uh, parang mangyayari na ulit since we're gonna have to live with this virus for a while. Isa pang example, kunyari yan, nagtanim ka nga, di ba? Nagtanim ka ng plant. So, for example, sabihin natin may malaking puno yan in the future. Ayan. Kasi kung short term ka lang, uh, well, hindi, wala namang masama dun, di ba? Yung mga trader nga, di ba? Malaki din sila kumita. But yun, uh, mas, mas stressful and mas parang mas mataas yung effort na ibibigay mo. And syempre, uh, mas mataas yung risk niya na magkaroon ka ng loss pagka trader ka. But yan, imagine nyo na lang. Nagtanim ka ng uh, puno, di ba? Uh, years bago lumaki yung puno na, you know, katulad nitong nasa right side nyo. So, kung ang gagawin nyo is, di ba, nagtanim kayo today. And then bukas si, ano, gusto nyong, like, mamunga na agad yung 
plant na yan. Uh, that won't really happen. And yeah, hindi siya realistic. So yun, uh, parang, yeah, share ko lang to sa inyo yung philosophy na to para maingganyo din kayo mag-invest for the long term. Yeah, parang sacrifice ka na ngayon uh, habang bata ka pa, diba? Like, uh, kahit minimum lang alang yung, ano eh, yung, for example, yung kinakain mo and then like, simple lang yung tinitiran mo. Yeah, nag-invest ka lang for your future kasi syempre, as you grow old, mas, you know, mas dadami needs mo, for sure. Especially pagka dumating ka sa parang uh, senior ages mo, senior stage, like, you know, 60, 70, 80. Ayan. So, at that point you can't really work na like actively well some people do but uh syempre kapag uh, ando ka na sa stage ng life mo na yun uh, parang gusto mong mag-enjoy na lang diba like spend time with your family and yeah just do whatever uh things you're passionate about yeah pursue niyo lang yan palagi and syempre uh, kapag ano pagka at an early age pinursu niyo na agad yun uh, that's really good kasi yun may foundation ka na and Yeah, uh, parang uh, your whole life, like, nag-enjoy ka lang sa ginagawa mo. Then, isa pang example ng unrealized gain is, for example, bumili ka ng, ano, ng isang sapatos, di ba, na limited edition. Pumila ka pa talaga, or, for example, nagpapila ka, nag-hire ka ng someone uh, para pumila, para, you know, makabili ka ng uh, signature or, like, limited edition na sapatos na yun. And then, for example, yung price niya is around 10,000 pesos. And then after uh, one year, naging, ano na siya, naging 20,000 na. Ayun, uh, pag hindi mo pa siya binenta kasi inisip mo, ah hindi, pag mas tumagal pa to, like for example, 10, 20 years ko siya kinip, uh, mas tatas may value niya, di ba? May mga ganun sa patos eh na, uh, example, ginamit ni Michael Jordan, you know, sa finals, yung last shot niya, yung sapatos na yun, uh, in auction, di ba? Tapos yun, uh, sobrang... Sobrang laki nung like, kinikita nung ibang tao doon. And yeah, same din with yung sa sinasabi ni Gary V. Mga baseball cards, basketball cards, generally sports cards. Ayan. Ay, mga rookie cards. For example, si Luka Doncic, di ba? Ang ganda nung ano, parang future niya, yung potential niya. So, for example, bumili ka lang like $50 nung sports card niya. Rookie sports card niya. And then like in 10 years, naging ano siya, MVP, multiple MVPs, multiple championships. So, grabe. Sobrang tataas ng prices ng sports cards na yun. And yeah, same thing dun sa ano. For example, yung sa sapatos na to. Saan sa na tayo napunta. Uh, ayun. Uh, for example, after 10 years, naging 100k na yung worth ng shoes. Yun. Uh, unrealized gain pa rin yun. Unless, ibenta mo. So, ang mangyayari nun, pagka binenta mo na siya at 100k, yung gain mo is, uh, capital gains mo is at 90,000 pesos. Uh, example naman tayo for a realized gain. So yan, ito. Nakita ko itong, nakita ko lang itong stonk gif na to. Uh, natuwa lang ako. So yeah, sabi niya, now I simply wait and see my profits. Yan. Parang ano nga. Nakatuwa eh, di ba? Uh, kahit na unrealized profit siya. Pag nakita mo na, uy, green yung stocks ko, yung portfolio ko. Nakatuwa ang tingnan. Na kahit, uh, parang hindi pa naman talaga, you know, nangyayari na, ah, nakakuha na itong profit ito. For example, sa GFC. Uy, may 6K yung extra, di ba? May 6K na akong kinita sa stock market. Ayan, um, nakatuwa lang makita siya mag-grow and like mag-fluctuate. Lalo na nung, ano, nung March, like sobrang bumaba siya. Yung inisip ko parang mixed feelings nga eh. Na ano, syempre nag-aalala din ako na, oh shit, uh, tama ba itong mga ginagawa ko? <laughs> Kasi uh, I think down ako nun parang 60k or 70k, something like that. Sobrang laki talaga nung, ano, nung negative amount. And ngayon I think nasa uh, 20-ish k na lang. So, parang 9 or 10% na lang yung down nung ano. Nung portfolio. And yeah, meron pa rin namang cash. Uh, Mag-plummet ulit yung market. So, it's time to buy again. Anyway. Ayan. Uh, kapag, uh, uh, for example, yung goal mo lang naman is 5 years. And then yeah, nag, nag, ano, nag-keep ka ng isang stock. Or like, sa, sabihin natin, 3 to 5 stocks. And then yeah, nagkaroon ka na ng unrealized profit na sabihin natin, uh, mga 25%. Overall. So, example, nag-invest ka 1M, di ba? Meron ka ng 250K after 5 years. So, gusto mo na mag-cash in. Ayun. Ang uh, pagkabinenta mo yun, yeah. Uh, 
Magli ka lang ng sell order. And then, yeah, pag na-fill yun, may bumili dun sa desired uh, selling price mo. Yun, may unrealized gain na yun. I mean, may realized gain na yun. So, yun na yung mismong capital gain mo, which is matataksan na rin. And yun kasi yung ano eh, yung parang, uh, parang con ko sa trading. Kasi diba, benta ka ng benta, ibili ka ng bili, benta ka ng benta. So, kada benta mo, itatax yun eh. Kahit nga, ano eh, kahit nga uh, palugi yung pagbenta mo, itatax pa rin nila yun on, uh, with the same rate. So, 0.6%. And then, same thing din. Uh, pagka bumili ka ng bahay, nag-invest ka sa bahay, nagpatuyo ka. Um, for example, yung naging budget mo is 2.5M for that house. Uh, and then, after, sabi natin, 5 or Yeah, sabi natin 10 years. Naging ano siya, na doble na, di ba? Naging 5M. So, benta mo siya at 5M. Ayan. Siyempre, yung kinita mo, which is half. Uh, 2.5M, matataksan yun. Uh, I think, um, magagawa na lang ng separate video on how uh, some asset classes uh, are being taxed para mas, you know, mas, mas in-depth yung uh, discussion natin. Uh, konting update lang sa market sa PSE. Well, ito yung uh, PSEI, yung index natin. Main index. And the only index lang naman sa Philippines. So, uh, negative 33.38 yung uh, nabawas nung Friday. So, 0.53% siya. Uh, nasa 6,000, ano pa rin naman. Nasa 6,000 mark pa rin. I think, bumaba siya at like 6.1. Habang nagtitrade pa eh. Uh, last week or like almost 6k pa nga eh. And yeah, malaki naman yung turnover. Nasa 12.84 uh, billion. And yeah, sobrang ano kasi. Sobrang dami nagtitrade nung... Lalo na yung Mary Mart yun. Sobrang, sobrang grabe yung volume nun. And then, uh, all the stocks, uh, negative, minus 29.74 points siya. Again, tayo at 6 point... Mali. 3.684.55 points. Uh... Kung naalala nyo, and kung napanood nyo or uh, napahinggan nyo sa podcast yung episode ko about tender offer. Ayan. So, ano kasi, may nag-take over nung Pepsi Philippines. So, currently, hindi na siya tinetrade uh, sa PSE. Kasi nag-fall na yung uh, public float uh, requirement ng PSE. To te, uh, below 10%. So, dapat at least 10% yung, ano, yung public ownership para pwede siya i-trade. Ayan. Ah, yeah. Uh, bali tatlong ano lang mati article. So, PSE halts trading of Pepsi, Pepsi shares. Same thing dito sa business world. Pepsi sells 30.7% stake to Lotte or Lot falls uh, below public float requirement. Yeah, yung Lot or like Lotte, kung, kung paano man siya i-pronounce. Uh, Korean company yan. And then, ito yung uh, sinabi nila. So, yeah, yun nga, nabenta na yung shares around 30.7%. Uh, tapos yung public ownership niya is at 2.1% na lang. So, 7.9% uh, pa yung kailangan uh, uh, na i-own ulit ng uh, public para matrade ulit siya sa PSE. And then, uh, sabi naman nung uh, lot eh, nung lot, uh, and wala silang plano to remove uh, yung Pepsi from the PSE. And yeah, hopefully ganun nga yung case. Kasi as you all know, hindi ko binenta yung ano, hindi ko tinanggap yung tender offer itong lot eh. Uh, previously, I think uh, parang 20 cents or 30 cents per share yung kikitain ko dun. But yeah, uh, I'm just gonna stick with it. And ang ano kasi, ang risk lang dito is pwede siyang madelist after 6 months. So, from today until siguro January or like December. December 2020 or like January 2021. Pwede yung madelist yung uh, Pepsi stocks ko. Well, yeah. Lahat nung ano. And may isang ano eh. May hindi tumanggap nung tender offer. I think Quaker, yeah. Quaker something corporation. So, yeah. I'm just being optimistic na mababalik sa trading tong uh, Pepsi. Kasi maganda talaga yung ano niya. Maganda yung financials, yung fundamentals. And then yan. Uh, we are towards the end of the episode na. So, ito yung sources natin. 
and karamihan puro photos and then uh, lahat naman yan ko interested ko yung basahin in full yung articles and yung sources ko about capital gain nasa description yan sa baba so check out nyo na lang then before we end syempre huwag nyo kalimutan i-like and share yung uh, episode na to itong video para mas maraming pang makakita and yeah mas maraming pang matuto and maingan nyo mag-invest and before we end uh, meron tayong quote from Gary Vaynerchuk. Sabi niya, if you don't love the process of what you're up to, you've already lost. So yun, uh, magandang advice talaga yun eh. Yung uh, itry mo lahat ng bagay na interesting para sa'yo. Para talaga mahanap mo kung ano yung uh, kung ano yung nagpapatik sa'yo. Like, talagang sobrang passionate mo dun sa dun sa bagay na yun na gusto mo siyang gawin everyday. Ah, uh, syempre hindi naman sa lahat ng pagkakatao na like you know, pagkakita mo yung ang bagay na yun eh. So, for example, ito, yung pag YouTube, ni pa naman ako makita dito eh. So, I still have to keep my uh, my 9 to 5 job. So, ayun. And yeah, syempre eventually kapag ka naman uh, kumita tayo dito sa you know, pag YouTube, pag podcast. And yeah, syempre sa investing. Kaya ako naman ginagawa 'yan. Ah, uh, yeah, pwede na tayong tumigil dun sa ano, dun sa normal job. And yan, para mas makapag-focus dito. But yeah, anyway, work from home lang din naman yun. So, marami pa rin akong time para dito. Well, sa mga ka-age ko, I'm 24. If uh, parang feeling nyo you're lost or like parang nagsastruggle kayo, ano ba talaga yung uh, gusto nyo gawin, yeah, try, mag-try lang kayo na mag-try. And yeah, eventually mahanap nyo rin yun. Every day, mag-grind kayo. Yeah, mag-hustle lang kayo every day. Yung upload schedule pala natin is Monday and Thursday na. Mag-subscribe na rin kayo. Para wala kayo ma-miss out na content ko. So, okay. And if umabot kayo sa part na to ng video, sobrang thank you. I appreciate y'all. And yep, thanks again for watching and listening. I'll see you guys in the next one. Always remember, be peso smart.